Boom, new attack. I like these attacks. Okay. There we go. That was awesome. Oh my god. He separated into two. Hold up. Phase three? Oh my god. Boom. Oh, hey everyone, welcome back to another Terraria video. Today, we got a hidden gem video. We are checking out the Terrorborn mod. Now, recently, I installed a bunch of mods on one stream, and I was trying to find some hidden gems. And then I came across this mod, and this mod is legit a hidden gem. Not a lot of content in it yet, but enough content to play around with. Let's get to it. Obviously, we're going to start with the weapons. Of course, of course. Come on. I'm tired of seeing the slime. Get out of here, bro. So let's grab some weapons. Obviously, we got four of each class. The summoner has five. Ooh. Let's get to it, though. Starting with this crystal tier blade. Crystals rain from the sky on swing. True melee hits will guarantee critical strikes and do four times damage. True melee love. You love to see it, even though this isn't a true melee because of this attack right here. You know, as a wise man once said, melee becomes good once it stops being melee. I've never heard words spoken so true before. Out of all the languages that person chose to spoke, he chose to speak facts. Just 100%. We're doing crazy damage. Oh my. All right, on to the next weapon. We got this Tidal Claw. Those are claw that will remain on the ground after landing. Claws will stick in the enemies they hit for repeated damage. Only the first hit will do full damage. Repeat damage is only one fourth of the base. Cool. I believe we can actually throw this at the guy. Come over here. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> so yeah, they stay on the ground. The enemies can walk into them. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Let's see some enemies walk into him. Look at that. My boy got the claws sticking to him. And then we can throw him directly at him. Cool weapon. Unique throwing weapon. Even though, obviously, it's melee damage. But still, it's unique. I like it. Next up, we got the Purgatory Shock Room. There's a shock room that returns to you. The higher the stack, the more shock rooms you can throw at once. Maximum stack of five. As I have 9,999 in my inventory somehow. Here, I'll throw away the other ones and we'll just have a max stack of five, okay? <laughs> Let's see it in action. Let's bring in some armored bones here. Ooh. That is just, that is some Terraria ASMR right there. Oh, that is, that is beautiful. All right, next up, the Titanium Nunchucks. This mod adds in like three Nunchucks. There's an Adamantite one, and then there's a regular one, and then the Titanium ones. While being used, it will deflect projectiles with a 1.5 second cooldown. Let's see them in action regularly. Cool animation. I like it. Honestly, this is exactly what I would expect from some Nunchucks, especially animated in Terraria style. Now, let's see. We need an enemy that shoots projectiles. Uh, let me throw the guide somewhere so he doesn't bother us during this. I think a skeleton archer would be a perfect enemy. You got to actually, you got to hit me. There we go. Oh my God. That's amazing. That's amazing. Ow. Okay. You know, I think it's a chance to reflect or deflect, but it's still cool as hell. Like it's a unique weapon. Let's see if this works. Okay. There we go. That was awesome. Cool weapon. Unique. I hope they build a little bit more upon it. There's only three nunchucks. You know, maybe add in a little bit more. You don't need like a whole class, but maybe add in a little bit more because it's, it's quite a big gap to get the regular ones. And then the next ones you get are in hard mode. All right, let's move on to the ranged weapons. We got that desert clot bomb explodes into homing antlion blood. Delicious. Let's see it in action. Let's bring in some regular skeletons. Nice and simple weapon. Good AOE. Good for clearing out mobs in big groups. On to the next, the double barrel. Fires two shotgun blasts of bullets in a row. Let's see the next one here. Oof. It's like a regular double barrel, pretty much. It's what you would expect from a regular double barrel shotgun. The most experience I've ever had with a double barrel IRL is like the Nerf gun one. And it wasn't even actually a Nerf gun one either. It was like knockoff Nerf. Next up, Bolt Ballista. Fires a Storm Bolt alongside its arrows, which are converted to Bolt arrows. Storm Bolts will summon a smaller Bolt upon hitting foes. Cool. See it in action here. Cool little animation. We got the base arrow and then we got, you know, the other arrows with it. Let's see it in action. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful noise yet again. I don't think we're really seeing the effect, but I really wanted to hear the noise. Let's bring in some archers. You know, archer and archer crime. I forgot that I'm no longer in god mode. I should probably turn that back on. And last but not least for ranged weapons, we got this, the Bone Zooka. Fires homing skulls that explode on contact with enemies, dealing 70 extra damage to hit to the hit enemy and nearby enemies. See it in action here. I love this noise. This is a great noise for weapons. And then let's actually see it in action. Let's bring in some armored skeletons. So yeah, they home in. They do little AOE explosions. I like this weapon a lot. So it's nice to see some uh, rocket launcher love in Terraria. Rocket launcher only playthrough coming? I don't think it's possible in the vanilla Terraria. Uh, we got the mage weapon starting with this one, the Azure Pearl. 
pearl azure 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 pearl fires an azure beam that explodes into smaller bouncing projectiles okay oh okay okay i see it i see it it seemed like a really like crazy snowball at first but then boom little explosion afterwards let's see it in action i don't know if these are the right enemies to choose for this okay maybe not let's bring in uh weaker enemies here because uh those guys they're a little they're a little too strong for this weapon i like it though another great like crowd clearing weapon on to the next midnight barrage staff rains midnight fireballs from above let's see it in action because you know this seems like a stronger weapon and i got a lot of stronger enemies just chilling around on to the next needle claw staff it doesn't say anything okay that's all good. It doesn't need to say anything. Ooh, okay, 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 cool. Let's bring some enemies in. Hit them directly. It seems like if we hit them directly. Hold on, let me bring in stronger enemies. If we hit them directly. Nah, I don't know. I don't know what the fuck I saw. <laughs> I thought it was like sticking to them or something. This is actually still pretty good. It's handling some hard mode enemies. And I don't think it's a hard mode mage weapon. It might be. On to the next tar swarm. Rapidly fires antline larva. Slightly ignores enemy defense. Ooh, let's bring in some skeleton commandos. Okay, wrong enemy. I keep bringing in the wrong tier enemy. Regular skeletons. Yes, sir. I'm not gonna lie. I'd be mad as hell if somebody just shot a bunch of larva at my face. That's disgusting now that I think about it. And on to the summoner weapons. There isn't a lot of summoner weapons in this. So, you know, I pretty much grabbed, I think, every single one. Let's start with this one. The frigid staff. Summons a frigid soul to fight for you. Let me see him. Cool, very cool. Reminds me of... Uh, Something I would see from like Thorium or Calamity. Like that starfish staff from Thorium. I don't know if that exists anymore. Let's bring in some unique enemies here. Some old one skeletons. Get them, boys. Get them, boys. We get some bumping music and a beautiful bone noise to go with it. All right, on to the next. Optic Cane. Summons an optic demons that swarms enemies and spews blood. It's a little weird to read. I do like what these guys look like, though. They look cool as hell. Let's bring in some more old one skeletons. You know, why not? Why not? So we got some nice projectile. Uh, you know, you can't go wrong with projectile summons, especially ones that move fast like that. Next up, I think this is a sentry. Thorny Maracas. Summons a thorny companion to help you fight. Summoning it despawns all other sentries, but its damage scales with sentry slots. That sounds cool as hell. Look at that. It's Maractus. Let's see it in action. It's already shooting. Go ahead and shoot at these guys. Dang. Good damage. Let me, let me bring in a hard mode enemy. Okay. A little bit weaker, but it said it does scale with more sentry stuff, which is pretty good. Even though you probably won't be getting more sentry slots for a long time. Next up, in Incendious Staff summons an incendiary demon that surrounds you and fires predictive fireballs in nearby enemies. See, I thought I was going to say protective. That shit said predictive. All right, boys. I don't know what you're attacking, but get them. Let's bring in some skeletons here. Oh, they cooking them up. Hold up. Hard mode summon potentially? Uh, but it's got potential. And last but not least, the Arma Grenade. A grenade that releases little Mothrons upon exploding. These Mothrons take up no summon slots, but disappear after a short amount of time. Your minions will target enemies hit by the main grenade. That's cool. Little bonus feature right there. All right, so it said Mothrons. So, like, it's got to be a hard mode weapon, right? Yeah. Damage is looking cool. I like this weapon. This is unique for a summoner. You love to see when summoner gets some unique love. Yeah, other than that... Cool weapons. There's not too many weapons in the mod. It is a work in progress mod again, but there is still enough content to play through it. So hopefully this video, you know, will boost everything. You know, will boost the playability. People want to play the mod more. The developers will want to work on the mod because of that, you know, that's what these videos are for. And also to expose mods that I believe are hitting gems. But yeah, moving on. Let's check out some of the armors. All right. Let's, uh, let's, let's throw on this one here. The uh, Azerite stuff as you can see if you want to read through all of that that's a long set bonus but other than that it looks cool as hell can't go wrong with the closed face helmets i'm telling you next up we got this one how do you pronounce this komuso komuso something like that basket helmet first off a basket helmet that looks cool as hell looks like something straight out of dark souls you could go ahead and read through this stuff it is a summoner set cool can't go wrong with summoner love next up we got the bounty hunter stuff damn i look cool as hell you give me a revolver or something it's over go ahead and read through this of course it's a ranged armor set of course of course next up we got the 
sanguine set. Look at this. Oh, another beautiful armor set. Closed face or hood, whatever. Can't see my face. Hey, this armor set was pretty cool looking. You can't technically you can't really see my face, so that's why it's probably cool looking. But I'm telling you, bro, when you can't see the character's face, the armor goes hard 99% of the time. But yeah, if you want to go ahead and read through this there, there you go. On to the next set. Let's do uh, this one, the incendiary stuff. I look like I'm about to go to Mars or some shit. Another nice set. It is a summoner set. Cool, cool. It says your minions will additionally blast hellfire balls at the cursor while you are holding a summon weapon. Sounds cool. I kind of want to see it in action. Let me see it. Let me see it. Oh, I see him. I saw a couple fireballs shoot out. And last armor, we're going to check out here the Tenebris one. Go ahead and read through that. These give you a lot of stuff. And the set bonuses seem to all be really unique. So there you go. Uh, I think the reason I checked out the Tenebris one last, because that's one of the armor sets I think you get from one of the bosses in this. The bosses are really cool. I can't wait to get to the bosses. On to the next chest. Believe it or not, this chest actually has something in it. Look, it's got these little incense. These incense, they're cool accessory, cool type of accessory that the mod adds in. As you can see, the topaz one decreased enemy defense by two, 1% increased damage for every three enemies nearby. So these benefit off of how many enemies there are near you. So like a cool, unique little accessory if you want to, you know, do some big events or you're just farming or something. The sapphire one gives you increased movement speed for every enemy nearby. That one sounds cool as hell. You know, say there's like 20 enemies nearby, you're zooming. The ruby one. Every three seconds, you get healed by one for every three enemies nearby. Cool, cool. And these all seem to decrease enemies' defenses. I'm not going to read that one every single time. The Emerald one. One further increased armor penetration for every four near and four enemies nearby. You emit an aura that damages nearby enemies every three seconds. The range of damage of this aura is increased by the amount of enemies nearby. And the Amethyst one, you get an extra defense for every three enemies. Cool. You love to see some unique accessories. Like, that's like a whole class of accessories, too. And in the fourth and final chest, there's absolutely nothing in here. No, I just I just placed it to look nice. All right, now it's time to get into one of the coolest mechanics from this mod. And that is the terror mechanic. I'm gonna go ahead and read this from the forum directly. One of the main additions of Terrorborn is this mechanic, is the, the whole entire terror mechanic. And then it says shriek to collect the terror of your enemies and use that terror as mana for various accessories, abilities, and weapons. There are currently six seven if you count the first terror abilities in the mod and they all aim to have their own use with that said let us go ahead and try and get our hands on all of these we're gonna do this first before we check out the bosses actually some bosses i think are gonna drop some of the abilities but yeah the first ability we can get if we don't go to like one of the shrines as you can see there's one here there's one here there might be another one somewhere the first one we could get is called gelatin armor we get it from killing the king slime let's do it i think honestly i should hop out of god mode and kill king slime normally so let me give let me give myself the goodies at least all right let's go ahead let's bring in the king slime here let's go ahead and kill him and look at that you see it floating in the air our beautiful first ability gelatin armor is what it's called and it says forms a shield around the player for 25 seconds that can block a single attack if it blocks an attack the next hit the player takes will deal extra damage beautiful let me grab it oh my god you love the little effect right there i always love my mods add in a little screen shake or just like manipulate it a little bit all right it says the ability right there this actually says 15 seconds the wiki said 25 i did not read anything else that said i probably should have before we show off that ability oh look let me grab that terror though before we show off that ability i think we should grab the next one here uh which i think this next one is gonna be the shriek of horror i believe we find it here so let me go let me tp here yes sir the shriek of horror cool little area i like these blocks what are these blocks can't break them all right it's fine let's go ahead let's grab this boom <sighs> cool as hell new ability unlock shriek of horror shriek of horror mod hotkey to unleash what the fuck does this say <laughs> getting hit while doing so will cause you to take twice as much damage special abilities and items consume terror i believe yeah that is the first ability you're supposed to get let me head back to the surface and then look an npc arrives let me go ahead. Let me read through this. Hello there. You must be a fellow seeker of this anomaly I've detected in this area. My spells have picked up very large amounts of terror emanating nearby. Wait, do you not know what terror is? That's pathetic. Really, I think I'll start nicknaming you idiot. Ha, 
damn i thought i could be an asshole sometimes this dude is this dude's a dickhead i'm only joking oh okay it's fine, it's fine considering you're the one who seems to live here i wouldn't want to insult you like that but anyways when i refer to terror i mean a substance and a very special one you see terror is what grants us our instincts and consciousness our minds and souls are composed entirely of its essence and certain beings such as myself are capable of taking advantage of it these beings are called incarnates although there's something very peculiar about you in particular i believe you yourself are an incarnate as well and you seem to have stumbled upon a rather convenient spot to call home you see all over this island is a group of shrines yeah we know about all the shrines and he knows where they are damn you good bro i gotta help him so what do you think about this in return for your home i'll help you guide to these shrines and help train your abilities does it sound good yes a very good idiot Call me an idiot again. See what happens. All right, let's actually talk to him though. He says, hello again. It seems you've been interested in enhancing your abilities. Two terror spells have already been learned by you. Something to note is that there isn't a shrine for every single spell in existence. Some of them have to be extracted by slaying large foes, as I'm sure you might have guessed by now. Uh, eventually, there'll be certain abilities I can't help you get. However, I'll be here to help you enhance them further. He's got a little shop. Sells tacos. Beautiful. It says, Pearl of Darkness. Used to point where the next terror ability is for 10 seconds. Intimidation or closely dodges hostile enemies with Dark Grant you terror. Getting hit will cause you to lose a third of your terror you have. Dark Quill. More terror stuff and something terror potion. Cool. So now if I hit the L key here, that's what I have it binded to. As you can see, you can see all of our, uh, you know, our abilities we got. Okay, but as you can see at the top of our screen here, we do have our uh, terror how much terror we have and then if we do our shriek of terror which you gotta bind the key to it this will you know scare enemies and we'll get terror that we can pick up but we're maxed out right now don't gotta worry about that let me go ahead let me set everything here i got my primary ability on g i don't know h sure why not i don't know they got something called quick virus i don't know how i'm feeling about the name of that let's go ahead let's grab everything else all the other abilities and i'll go ahead and read them off one of them it says we have already is horrific adaption which i don't remember picking this one up so i don't know how i have it i don't know if this is like character related it might be character related so maybe i need to like make a whole new character yeah horrific adaption heals the player over time while being used the assigned hotkey has to be held down you get that from one of the shrines i guess we might as well go to this shrine right here boom look at that damn there's titanium surrounding this so you can't get this one into hard mode well i have superpowers so i'm getting this one right now let's see what this one is terror warp teleports you to your mouse cursor but can't teleport you through tiles okay pretty cool it's like a it's like a less strong uh route of discord all right the next one let's head over here to the dungeon we get one from here yes sir this is a weird dungeon boom what is this one necromantic curse i'm gonna read it from the wiki fires out a dungeon spirit that does one damage but makes the player's attacks life steal from the hit enemy okay what else are we missing we are missing two more i believe one of them is from one of the bosses from the mod and then the other one is from another shrine and i don't know if there is another shrine this is the only other shrine that i see i feel like i would see another one by now aha uh -huh, i've lied my eyes deceived me i found it oh god i'm not in god mode this one is deep no wonder why i wouldn't see this one i'm not looking at hell all right let's go ahead and snag this one void blink grants you immunity for 3.5 seconds when used cool 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 all right and then the last one is called the uh, starving storm we'll get it later when we fight the boss all right so i went to the developers went to their discord and asked them how does the menu work so it actually is a bug so i'm glad that i figured out that it was a bug and it actually matters about your ui size it has to be 100 and boom bada bing this menu actually works now so that's a little bug i'm glad i figured it out for both me and them and now i can actually check this out i don't know what's gonna be included in the video but like i was i was going crazy trying to figure this thing out bro <laughs> I made like two or three clips where I was just in denial. But yes, we can actually check out some of the abilities. Let's do it. Let's uh let's do terror warp. Boom. And let's do void blink. Alright, what is terror warp? Teleports you to the mouse cursor's location. Cannot teleport through tiles. Got it. So we go like this. I think G is my button. Boom. Look at that. And as you see at the top, I actually use some terror. All right, and then let's see, uh, Void Blink gives you immunity frames for 3.5 seconds when used. We got to do this. We got to scream it out a little bit. Then, there we go. Now I get some immunity frames. I had to make sure I had the right amount of terror, obviously. And now I got to get the terror back so we can see the other abilities. All right, Starving Storm. Some of the vortex at your cursor that pulls nearby enemies. Boom. Let's put that on primary. Let's see it in action here. Boom. Oh, that's sick as hell. And then let me go ahead and do it again over here. Oh, them boys are getting sucked up. Hold up. All right, the next three here. Let's go ahead. Let's just equip gelatin armor. Let's 
equip necromantic curse let's see what they do fires out dungeon spirits that does one damage and makes your attacks life steal from the hit enemy cool let me go ahead and take a little damage there uh okay that's not as much damage as i thought come on take some bigger hits bro come on all right let's see it in action boom i completely missed i missed again try again there we go and then i'm supposed to attack that enemy and i life steal oh you get the idea okay let's go to gelatin armor here so gelatin armor forms a shield around you for 25 seconds that can block a single attack if it blocks an attack the next hit you take will deal extra damage boom let's see it in action got the little effect on us we absorb some damage cool on to the last one here horrific adaption heals you over time while being used to sign hot key has to be held down boom let's just put that on there it requires 30 percent i'm gonna just i'm gonna just use it there you go our health went up let me get a little bit more terror let me do it from 100 because we are missing a lot of health all right ready i'm about to press g i'm about to hold down g look at our health we are regening a lot faster beautiful there you go there's all the abilities all right the first boss is called the tidal titan let's get to it boom what's up it's like crabulon but minus the mushrooms oh my god that music is getting loud as hell it's bumping though i can't lie Let's do a little bit of damage here, see the other phases. I'm out of god mode, so I'll actually take damage. Where are you going? You better not be running away. He ran away. Okay. I'm gonna, like, kill him fast as shit, so he doesn't do that. Well, actually, I wanna... Let's get him low, so... Okay, I didn't mean to kill him. <laughs> but you see, we kill him, and it says, Now the caves are flooded with the Azerite. Beautiful. Let's do a little damage. There you go. Boom. New attack. I like these attacks. They look cool. I like crab bosses. You can't go wrong with a boss that's a crab, bro. Like, come on. He shoots bubbles. He's got the little water spout that shoots out. Ooh, look at that attack. Nice. He's got cool attacks. It's a cool fight. You're able to read the attacks and actually react and stuff. And the fight just seems like a fun fight. I could always get behind good Terraria boss fights. But yeah, let's go ahead. Let's do fatal damage now. Or do a little bit more damage. See if he does anything else. It seems like he's attacking way faster. Uh-uh nope not running away this time there you go that was the first boss cool little boss there on to the next which is called doomstock we gotta fight him in the desert i believe and this is where we get the last of uh the terror abilities let's take him on what's up bro this boss looks cool as hell by the way i love all the sprites for the bosses in this mod this is probably my favorite one out of all music also bumping by the way damn look at that attack all right let's do a little damage here a little bit more than that see if we get some new attacks okay got a new attack already right there Ew, is he shooting blood at me that's disgusting oh my god he separated into two he got his legs and he got his upper half that's sick as hell and then he just attaches right back to it that's amazing that's unique as hell you love to see it let's do some more damage though oh damn the wind accelerates around you. he's just flying now no bottom half bottom half gone he's adding in a bunch of new attacks here and he's moving way faster this is a crazy fight my boy got the little tornado too it's, it's sucking me in the tornado is actually sucking me in i like how the music pick up picks up too that adds a lot to the boss fight but yeah let's go ahead let's do some more damage possibly even finish him off here low key he's doing damage to me i might have to actually kill him here <laughs> did i pick up the next ability i don't know the next ability was supposed to be there. The next ability is called Starving Storm. Summons a vortex at your cursor that pulls nearby enemies. Sounds cool. Look at this bow, though. Pretty cool. <laughs> the next boss is called the Shadow Crawler. I believe we just fight this boss at night. Let me find a good area to fight it. I don't know. I, over here. I am going to go into God Mode for this. And let's do it. Shadow Crawler. What's up, my boy? He's a big fat spider how adorable let's go ahead let's see some of his attacks so he's going ahead he's like going around me right now he's like jumping up and down around me kind of cool he's got that black and green which is a great combo a lot of terry mods he's black and green reminds me of the uh plague bringer from calamity it's just a good colorway plain and simple or good color palette yeah his attacks are dope i like them i like how he kind of like hovers around you let's go ahead let's do some damage if he keep he keeps jumping around he's like low-key dodging all my attacks on the accident I believe this boss does have a phase too, so let me see if I can get to it using uh, the terrarium here and not the tome of manipulation. Oh, here we go. He's gonna hit us with a scream, and now he looks a little different. My boy's got an eye on his back, what it looks like. So we should see some uh, new and faster attacks coming in. Delicious, I love that noise. Music's bumping. Music's bumping, but I think I gotta do a little bit more damage to him. Let's go ahead, let's, let's do a bunch of more damage. Hold up. Phase three? He's got an even cooler pattern on his back. He's moving even faster. 
You're shooting out more attacks. This is dope. You love the boss progression throughout the fight. All right, let's go ahead. Let's let's end him though. Hit him with the killing blow, and he's gone just like that. All right, and the last boss called the uh, prototype one. I believe this one we can also just fight at night. So let me go ahead. Let me summon it in. Damn, it's got a lot of health. Let's see him. He's a giant. I don't know what the hell he is. <laughs> It's like a floating orb reminds me of like the polarities boss attacks seem cool too and he's also got that black and green pattern again great colorway look at these attacks though these attacks are a little bit more dangerous you gotta step up the fight a little bit all right let's go ahead let's do some damage to him honestly the tumble manipulation might be the way to go there you go i did like a quarter of his health almost half i can't even keep up with him and i mean god man, i'm having troubles keeping up with him keeping up with him Okay, he's getting a little bit more angry. We did a little bit more damage. Don't know if he's entered a new phase or what. He didn't do it like the other boss did. So let's do a little bit more damage. He's shooting a lot faster. though. He's definitely picking up the fight. And let me go ahead and hit him with a killing blow. Unless he has a phase two. Phase two. All right, he's one of the bosses that you got to kill the whole health bar for the phase two. I can see this boss being up there with like an Empress of Light type fight. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. A lot of stuff you got to dodge. Let's go ahead. Let's do even more damage. Oh, hit us with like that Brain of Cthulhu type attack. Oh my god. Speak about Brain of Cthulhu type attack even more. All right, we're getting close to killing him. I like that attack. Oh, and there you go. He is dead. Prototype 1 he gave us this weapon. Cool. Dope bosses. Let me go ahead and make it daytime now. I believe there actually is a couple enemies of mini bosses we could check out too. Let's go ahead. Let's do that. Uh, one of the mini bosses is called Sangroon. Sangroon. Where is he? Boom. Mini boss alert. And he said, I'm out. Sangroon. What does that sound like? Does that sound like a desert? Or does that sound like a water boss? Like sand dune? Okay. He said, nope. Well, we feeling we feeling this by him? I, I feel like it's, it's got to be the ocean. Then. I feel like we would be feeling the ocean. All right. You know what? I'm going to just grab you. Look at him. He ain't feeling the crimson. You look like a nasty ass crimson type of enemy, bro. He looks cool, though. I can't lie. I can't lie. That boy looks cool as hell. Maybe he's not fully impl implemented. That could obviously be one of the things. There could be a lot of things that I checked out that aren't fully implemented. That's the thing with like work in progress mods. I never know. All right. And then there's another mini boss here. Undying Spirit. I mean, he's moving. All right. He's he's moving around a lot. I don't see a little uh, boss health bar like the other mini boss had. I'm going to go ahead and uh, just you know, kill him off. And then there's obviously a couple NPCs. We saw the uh, Terror Master. And then there's a Skeleton Sheriff. Just sounds cool as hell. He looks cool as hell too. His name is Chad. What a great name. He sells some goodies. Nice, nice. Bombanomicon. Let's go ahead and check this out. Sounds like a great item. Just shoots out a bunch of bombs and stuff. And they do actually destroy stuff. <laughs> so be careful with it. All right, let me see. How many enemies? If any enemies at all. There's a Terror Slime. Okay, cool, cool, cool. There's a tar sludge. Cool, cool, cool. Beautiful noise when it died. I love that. Tidal squid. Cool. Incendiary warrior. These dudes also look cool. Incendiary wheel. <laughs> love wheel type enemies. There's a sangoon. Tar flyer. Tidal crab. Little baby tidal crabs. And I believe that's pretty much everything. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to check out the mod again. It, this is a this is a sleeper out of all the sleeper mods I've checked out. I was honestly surprised how quality this mod was when I just checked it out randomly during a stream. Check it out. Work in progress is going to have more updates. It's going to have an update soon. And it's just unique, man. The terror abilities are really unique. Speak about terror. We got a slime pulling up on us. A terror slime. What's up? But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you all next time.